What's the difference between synthetic and bioidentical hormone replacement therapy? Let's talk about it. For years, the only choice menopausal women had was prescription synthetic hormones, but fortunately, since the late 80s, bioidentical hormones have been available. Synthetic hormone replacement therapy are chemically derived in a lab and have a hormonal effect in the body. For instance, medroxyprogesterone is a synthetic progestin that is derived from a testosterone molecule with fewer carbons than natural progesterone. It does protect the uterus against estrogen's building effect, so you're less likely to have endometrial cancer, but it does not protect the rest of your body, like your breast tissues. Progestins are not progesterone. Bioidentical hormones look exactly like what your ovaries would make, so your cells don't know the difference. Bioidentical hormones still have to be synthesized somewhat, which means that you can't eat a yam and get progesterone or eat soybeans and get estrogen. The precursor molecules of those hormones in these plants can be divided into the lab into estrogen and progesterone, as well as testosterone, pregnenolone, and DHEA. Hormone replacement therapy and bioidentical hormone replacement therapy are chemically different. Synthetics are patentable, man-made chemicals. Bioidenticals are not necessarily patentable, although there are a few bioidenticals and pharmaceuticals that have patented delivery systems. You do have choices. The types of bioidentical hormone replacement therapy include estrogens, estradiol, estrone, and estriol. Sometimes they're combined, sometimes they're taken separately. Progesterone is best micronized, meaning a smaller molecule, so that it's absorbed better. Chemically derived testosterone is methylated, which is very toxic to your liver. Bioidentical testosterone is not methylated. In perimenopause, I refer to hormone replacement therapy as supplemental, meaning we're just giving you enough of those hormones to help you with your symptoms, but not so much that we're replacing all your needs because you may be able to still make it. We usually start with progesterone. By menopause, you need to consider full hormone replacement therapy, both progesterone and estrogen. And if needed for osteoporosis or sarcopenia, testosterone can be added. Finding the most effective bioidentical hormones can be challenging. In the early 90s, I began working with a compounding pharmacist to improve upon the existing transdermal delivery of progesterone. At the time, I was focusing on progesterone as a hormone replacement therapy, but also for infertility treatments to prevent miscarriage as well as regulate menstrual cycles in women. At the time, progesterone injections were the gold standard and they're painful. Then compounders developed progesterone suppositories, great absorption, but incredibly messy and can cause uterine cramping as well as some urogenital symptoms like urinary retention. So transdermal deliveries seem to be the best option, but not all transdermal bases were created equally. After years of sharing my clinical experience with a compounding pharmacist, we came up with an amazing liposomal-based transdermal with very high absorption, higher than anything in any other compounders we had used before, and higher than anything over the counter. Progesterone is such a large molecule that it's difficult to deliver transdermally. Most creams deposit progesterone into the subcutaneous tissue, which makes it difficult to reach the bloodstream and become systemically absorbed. Our progesterone formula had a very high absorption rate. In fact, I was able to utilize this transdermal cream to replace injectable progesterone as well as suppositories for my pregnant women trying to prevent miscarriage. In the fall of 2023, we were finally able to manufacture our highly effective progesterone transdermal cream. GenPro is the same formula I prescribed for my patients, and it's now available over the counter. GenPro is the foundation for a bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. I'll see you in the next video.